Is this a Trundle support, though? Is this the team that played? No, 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 no. What's Tarth Top? That'd be interesting. Tarth Top is surprisingly good. Um, they've nerfed it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but, okay, we're back, we're back. Yeah, it's it's live. It's live. Perfect. It's live on Saturday night. I'm not logged in. Yep. All right. Let's go to let's go to the uh, client drafts so, or the client. Start mm -hmm. streaming the client so we can see the champions that picked and where they're going. All right. Perfect. So there was a Twitch chat. I know that um. I know that there was a lot of that champion select was gone, um, but we're only going to see three drafts because we did the normal draft, but the second round bans were um, Tactical Gaming banned Shen and Gangplank away from Pizza Pasta Mafia, and then Donkey Knives banned Yorick and Garen away from um, PEIO 33170. Uh, PEIO then blind picked the Renekton uh, top. After both sides had got, you know, focused a lot of their attention top, I see like at least, yeah, three uh, se seven top lane bands total. Um, so mm -hmm. I think we're going to be seeing top a lot because we got an unorthodox trundle. Um, either a trundle or target top. I'm guessing trundle. Mm -hmm. Which is an interesting matchup into a nectar. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be that the Tarek is kind of like a, a guardian for the Jinx. And Oh man. Um, yep. Pizza mm -hmm. Pasta Mafia takes the trundle. Yeah. Tarek is just so good for defending Jinx. Like, you have a late game Jinx going buck wild with the uh, invulnerability. She can just <laughs> rip apart your entire team, especially because tactical gaming. They do have a Moomoo, but they don't really have a huge tank line. Um, that is one issue I see with Trundle, is that a Moomoo is probably going to go Conqueror, so he's not going to get those like insane amounts of resistances for Trundle to steal with his ult. Then Alistair, of course, is on a support budget. He gets his tankiness from flat damage reduction on his ultimate. So Trundle doesn't get to steal that. So I, I do wonder about the utility of this Trundle pick if it doesn't turn out, if it doesn't come out as like a really strong lane counter to Renekton, which having played both Renekton and Trundle top, I feel like that's a pretty easy matchup for Renekton. Um, Cause he can dash over the pillar. He doesn't rely too much on walking and he should be able to like trade and burst down trundle before trundle can chomp him and take the ad away whose ult lasts longer um i believe renekton I, renekton is 15 seconds uh dominus and i believe subjugate is 15 seconds is, yep i believe trundle is uh 10 seconds but less. um it's actually it's eight seconds um interesting it, he drains for four seconds, and then the reduction lasts for four seconds. So it's eight seconds total. Who do you want one to see top lane against Renekton? Oh. Um, well, there's there's a lot of spicy picks. The thing about Renekton is he's a pretty safe. Um, he's a pretty safe pick in general. Like he, there's not a lot that beats Renekton. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of just survive Renekton and outscale him. Uh, but champions that can beat him down pretty hard. Uh, Poppy um, is very good versus him because she gets really tanky really fast, trades pretty well with him, gets outscales him really fast, outscales really fast. Uh, mm -hmm. Darius is pretty decent into him. Um, what I'm match? Really... That lore matchup. So actually, yeah. So that is that is an interesting matchup because basically, um, at this point, they keep buffing Nasus's ultimate. So at this point, Nasus's ultimate is just a better version of Renekton's ultimate. Um, it's a matchup that Renekton can win, but I think it's Nasus favored. Um, really? Yeah, because uh, Nasus just like once he gets to a certain point, he just outscales Renekton, and his his W is more useful utility than Renekton's W because it's easier to just drop the Wither on an AD carry and win. That's um, true. But I think from playing your Nectin, I think the worst matchups are Quinn and Urgot. Uh, I hate both of those matchups as your Nectin. 
Trundle, I, I can't say. Um, all I know about Trundle top right now is that every one of his matchups is losing. Um, except maybe like Poppy or something. But. What about this mid lane matchup, Concardus and Ari? I can see Ari being a very heavy lane bully against Karthus. Yeah, I don't feel like Ari or Karthus should be able to do much versus Ari. Um, I suspect that Karthus's Karthus's success in this lane is going to be not not dying, and then mm. oh, sorry, um, not dying. And collecting kills with his ultimate, kills and assists with his ultimate, because he does outscale Ari pretty hard. Ari is one of those champions where unless she's really far ahead, she needs two rotations of her abilities to like one shot um an enemy to carry. It's gonna be really hard for her to one shot a jinx that's being protected by a Tarek. Mm -hmm. Um but <laughs> she does have a lot of push early. She can roam pretty easily. Um now is Tarek's ult channel Oh, never mind. I am Never mind. I'm I'm dumb. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can see Karthus being a really big thorn in everyone's side here because the only really big damage that they have is well, I mean, I said they have three people, but um, like consistent damage for like you know range champions would be Ezreal and Ari, and Ari's more burst. But yeah, so <clears throat> one th issue I do see with tactical gaming draft is that if Ezreal doesn't you know get to his spike ahead of Jinx and kind of start snowballing the game they don't really have a ton of damage um Amumu is probably going to go tanky mm -hmm. um and it's definitely going to get outpaced by the Udyr then Renekton you know isn't exactly a huge threat with damage late game as as is Ari um so they're going to really have to spike hard and get a big lead mid game I feel like if they want to close this out well, especially but, if yeah. if Tark does a good job staying next to to Jinx and Karthus, like if they kind of stick together when when they're team fighting, like Renekton will just be completely shut down just because like, oh you're you're gonna dive in on us, okay I stun you, oh you're gonna keep <laughs> going, okay well I'll just pop my ult and then uh, you can't damage yeah. us anymore and then you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, other things to look out for is um. Uh, Tarek throwing his stun on Ezra, the Udyr, who can run the stun into the middle of the enemy team. That too. Um, that too. Yeah. All right. Going into the skin game, I immediately see the armor of the fifth age Tarek being pulled out, and that right there. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Ooh. It's the best skin in the game. So, yeah. I actually really like this. Uh, Tarek went heal and then let the Jinx take cleanse. So that's going to be really helpful because um, that lets her get out of the Amumu stun lock or out of the Ari charm, which is going to make it harder for Ari to assassinate her. Mm -hmm. uh, I am in game, by the way. Yeah. I am in game as well. Yeah. Tactical gaming is just going to be, I think, especially once they hit six, they're going to be much, much stronger than. Yep. Yep. Three, four. Perfect. Yep. All right. Yeah. So. Early game, and especially once they hit six and unlock the Alistair ultimate, the Alistair ult, the, the Ari ult, Amumu, mm -hmm. um, tactical gaming is going to be a lot stronger than uh, the Team Donkey Knives is. And uh, they're probably going to be stronger until uh, Jinx hits like that three item spikes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, Karthus farms up, uh, Trunnel gets tanky enough that he can actually survive a team fight. Uh, late game, like <laughs> Tarek Jinx is there's absolutely nothing that tactical gaming can do. Um, if if things are even come late game, like this is a really easy win for um, 
donkey knives, but they have to survive that because the, the <laughs> spike from getting the sticks for tactical gaming is incredible. And if they can snowball, it's, it's, it's tough. It looks like Chunnel's going to go for the red buff instead. Uh, sorry, Udyr. This is going to trip me up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I, yeah. I, I just think Team Donkey Knives, Team Donkey Knives, all I have to really do is just kind of sit back and, and let Jinx scale up, and then you should be fine. Great. You know, what, what you have to worry about is um, uh, <clears throat> Ezreal's, Ezreal's probably, well, he, he went he went tier first, so he went in the Muramana, more scaling build. A lot of Ezreal's have been going uh, Duskblade Essence, Essence Reaver, which gives mm -hmm. you a lot of cooldown reduction, a lot of early power. It makes him super strong. Um, super strong. Uh, sorry about that. A very early point in the game. Um, he he might be going greedier. The Muramana into the Divine Sunderer still works. But we'll have to see. Now, is Grasp the normal take on Trundle Top? I, I would have thought either Conqueror or Press the Attack would have been more common or better yeah usually <laughs> you see press the attack on on trundle top because he can proc it really easily with like quick trades I... or in the, in the q auto reset as well I'm back. I hope I didn't miss anything too exciting. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of what we, I think, kind of what we expect to see with um, top lane, Renekton pushing in, winning trades with Trundle. I still have no idea what the value this pick brings is, but I guess it's kind of a wait and see. Now, as Trindle, do you go Bruiser or do you go more tank in utility? Uh, <laughs> I I mean, you you have to go Bruiser. Like you you pick this thing to counter the Renekton. You you have to be able to fight him. Um, a Trundle going pure tank, like why not just pick Poppy, pick a uh, pick anything besides Trundle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. true. That's oof. But as we do get a bit of a trade topside, as Trundle's taking very low, but Renekton is also taking a lot of damage from that. Uh, just with auto attacks in general, but both of them just decided to back off instead of duking it out. Yeah, the the Trundle, Trundle Grasp Q trade chunks really hard. Um, and, you know, he can he can, he can kind of... He can kind of shut down Renekton's game plan, which is like the super fast trades dash in, dash out by if he pillars Renekton back in like he did there. Mm -hmm. Keep him in longer. Trundle got so much hidden value from the W attack speed, like just stuff people don't think about. The fact that he's stealing AD with his Q. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Hmm. Udyr went and stole, I think, the. Um, he stole the Krugs from Amumu, I believe. Um, and Amumu doesn't know it yet. But. You have more of a reason to cry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, but that that's kind of what Udyr has to has to be doing. Mm -hmm. Um he's he's not gonna be as useful as a Mumu come like I honestly once level six hits. So he has to build a farm lead, he has to get something done with objectives and with you know you know ganks. Um one thing I'm surprised by is Ari and Karthus kind of farming pretty easy. I, I think that the exhaust from Karthus kind of shuts down Ari's game plan early, but I do expect, especially once Ari hits six, I hope that she she starts bullying the Karthus a little bit because you know he's immobile <laughs> and his dash, oh, yeah. his wall doesn't really interfere with her dashes. So, um, as okay, there's pings going down onto the blue F. I think Udir is trying to bully Amumu a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Renekton does have the free. 
like the open lane right now top just with where Udyr is at because the trundle is far away. So if he does roam down, Udyr might find himself in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> a little bit of peekaboo up there. Yeah. Arya is going to rotate over as well as bot lane is being pushed down, uh, pushed in by tactical gaming. Um, which is honestly what you kind of expect to see, I guess, with, you know, Ezreal being such a, having that free, almost mini execute. We go top lane, Ezreal he tries to go in, there's a little bit of trading, but decides to just dash back out again, um, as, yeah. ooh, a big Q from Trundle just chunks him out, but, I mean, that, that sustain from his Q is just going to keep him nice and, nicely topped up, actually. Yeah. And I, I mean, so... Trundle, Trundle first bought um, Ninja Tabby here, mm -hmm. um, which oh, is we'll actually get a little bit of fight here. Top lane is when that does go in, and he's taking very low. Has to pop the ult, and but it's taking extremely low. Has forced to flash out, but Trundle does flash in for the wow. first blood onto Renekton. Yeah, and okay, I was I was not expecting that to go this way, but I think Trundle played that really well, um, mm -hmm. and I think Renekton did not respect the the power of the Trundle ultimate. Um, yeah. Because, you know, he kind of popped his ult defensively. Um, he probably should have popped it the instant that Trundle ulted him um, to kind of build up Fury. But Amumu is, is getting Amumu bullied. Get trouble here as he's going to get stunned up from Udyr. Karthus did back off, but is going to force a flash out of Amumu. So he's going to blast going over the wall, and he <laughs> will be safe as Ari's going to try and rotate over, but she might find herself in a bit of a pickle as they're going to be coming back, and Amumu is too low to help out. But um, the bot lane from Tackle Gaming is here to support but on the other side of the red buff wall, as Udi is forced to flash out. Sorry, as it went top lane for a few seconds, but nothing really happened there. Um, <clears throat> Rackin did uh, teleport in, and Trundle is below half health. Uh, I don't think Rackin really wants to dive here, but we'll no. see what he does. Renekton definitely does not want to dive. But <laughs> Trundle, Trundle, Trundle is low on mana. Um, he does have teleport, though, so I imagine he's just going to reset here. That's just fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Trundle's probably happy with where he is. I, I'm honestly unsure about how how this how this ends up scaling because I, I don't know what build Trundle's gonna end up going. Yeah, I'd like him to go more aggressive, but you know, if he feels like his team needs a tank, then I don't question that. As uh oh. Oh, Karthus is... Trouble. He's going to get the bandage. Yeah. And the will happen. The charms can come in later on, and the ultimate coming out will result in Karthus' death. He does pop the ult, try and get a kill, but Not I don't gonna think it's going it. to get anybody as uh, yeah, a very nice gank from Amumu, and Karthus being as mobile as he is isn't going to see anything. As going top lane, Amumu, uh, Udyr is going to stun up Renekton, but I think Renekton is going to be able to get out of this just fine, as Udyr is taking very low. Bot lane, we are going to see some more farming going on, as it has been all game. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, this is really good for Jinx. Um, she's 20 CS up on the scaling AD carry. Mm -hmm. uh, like, at this point, you know... Um, Alistair did not bring Ignite, so they don't really have a way to cut through the healing. Um, yeah, especially with... Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, like, Tark just being able to smack on uh, Alistair... He's just gonna be able to constantly be getting those Q procs. Yeah, right. So as long as he doesn't, as long as he has uh, has the mana, he doesn't have anything to worry about. <clears throat> I actually want to check something. Okay, cool, cool. It looks cool. like we're gonna, uh, Donkey Nags is going to be going for an early dragon here as uh, Udyr uh, Alistair does get a ward on it, so they do know. And Umu is down here to contest, but it looks like they were able to burn through it faster than. Um, T Attack Gaming was uh, able to respond. A uh, nice stun from Targ is gonna knock a uh, stun up. Uh, Amumu, but uh, he's going to be able to get under tower as the Tark ult does come out. Only hit three people, <gasps> but oh. nothing is going to really come on that ultimate. I think it was a little bit prematurely. Or, oh no, sorry. Yes. But uh, that results in no kills, but they do pick up a Cloud Drake. So that's very nice for Tark and basically almost everybody on their team. Except for Udyr. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. He's an extra, what, point, point three well, you know, five seconds off your roll? He is going tank, so, you know, the little, he isn't going to be maxing Phoenix stance. You know, that's, it's, it's something, but. 
That's true. That's true. Yeah, the target, the Karthus, Ari. Uh, sorry, Karthus. Oh my god. Yeah. Trundle. Ev Jinx. You know, everyone loves that. Yeah, I would like to see them punish the um, the fact that Tarek ult is down. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like you have the Alistair, you have the Amumu. Ari's pushing. She can roam. So like I. I like to see them. Um, I like to see them punish the 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 Jinx Tarek. You know, yeah. they're still weak. Oh, the know. top lane looks like Renekton is going to get knocked up by the pillar. He's going to try and dash away, so he can blow half health. Meanwhile, bot lane Ari's going to go in on to on the Jinx, and she's taking very low and going to go Ooh. down to Ari as she's bursted down. Alistair flashing over the wall. We'll get the knock oh, up on the card. He's getting knocked back into Ari, and the kill's going to go over to Ari for a nice double kill. As uh, that was a very nice flash, and you know. Uh, combo from alistair to get targ on the on the other side of the wall yeah re really well played and that's you know Ari kind of she did lose a turret you know, top lane, the ultimate from, for next game. Pop to try and survive this uh trundle <laughs> onslaught but it's gonna be taking very low force to flash away the rage is up but it looks like they're gonna be trying to run away from each other uh, run away but uh he will go down as trundle flashes forward to get the kill yeah uh and honestly okay this channel this channel pick is working out pretty well uh i i'm surprised I, I feel like Renekton should itemize into Ninja Tabby as soon as possible. Because uh, yeah. all of Trundle's damage is coming out of his, you know, whapping with his club. And it, it's it's doing enough to kill Renekton over and over again through his ultimate. Yeah, This has done a great job of neutralizing the Renekton pick. I, uh, I, I was wrong. The Herald did go over to tactical gaming so we're gonna see if they can do anything with that meanwhile udir is gonna be knocked up and stunned by alistair and amumu but he's gonna flash over the wall to get the safety as tark is on the other side of the dragon pit but looks like both teams are able to just walk out safely meanwhile karthus is gonna back off as he sees amumu coming into the bush and that's gonna be it oh no hold on tark is going to try and uh take that pink ward but amumu coming down will force him off of it Oh, meanwhile, top lane, uh, Renekton right, does go on a trundle, but he quickly thinks twice as uh, he, he remembers the previous encounters he had with them. But no, he goes in for seconds as they have a little bit of training top lane. Meanwhile, Jinx uh, is trying to get the damage bot. on going on to Ezreal, but Amumu's here to, to engage with Alistair, knocking away Jinx in the alcove. The, the traps do come out, but they aren't oh. in a <laughs> position. No, the traps do stop up Alistair as the target ult does come out. Ari's uh, here too, both the time. Ari's here as well, but both will be taken down here uh, with a nice rotation from Amumu and from Ari, and giving Ezreal a nice double kill to get back in the game. Yeah, R really well played by this Ari. She's abusing the fact that I mean, she's she's losing turret plates, uh, mid. But I mean, I, I think you're it's worth that. You know, getting a double kill bot lane. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, like she she's abusing the fact that she has the push, she has the roam, she's she's getting there. And honestly, two turret plates for two kills is take that every time. Yeah. As Ezreal is going for the Divine Sunderer. Um as as is Trundle. Okay. So Trundle Trundle went the more, you know, bruisery the the Divine Sunderer build. Mm -hmm. Um the Qs are gonna chunk really hard now. And keep them nice and healthy too. Oh yeah. That's one thing I hate. hate sorry. sorry. I was gonna say so. One of the one of the things with Trundle is that uh, you really want life steal items because your W doesn't give you any life steal. It just amplifies your healing. So you want to build like some item that gives you life steal so you can amplify it. But most life steal items just like don't give you any health. And if you don't build any tank stats as Trundle, you get blown up immediately. Um, Divine Sunder is nice because it's a big, it's a beefy bruiser item. Uh, it gives you a fair amount of health and gives you that healing. Um, so would you want to stick a ravenous Hydra coming out? From Trundle, if you're time. very if you're very fed, um, the thing is that uh, hold the thought. It looks like we're gonna have a standoff here at the Dragon Pit as Tackle Gaming is gonna go for a, the Ocean Drake here, but I think Donkey Knives, yes, is just opting to give it up, which yeah. is a smart call. Yeah, and okay, so if if I'm team, um, if I'm Tackle Gaming, I you need to start ganking top because this is getting like out of control kind of for mm -hmm. your uh renekton you need to shut down the trundle um and yeah, okay all right they're happen. actually read my mind Alistair and amumu is going to come top and try and get the outside track on him and uh, get a nice gank going uh out renekton does pop the ultimate as trundle is staying very healthy but three men oh. three men are here and the amumu ult does come out take renekton both half health and uh trundle is going to be 
on a Redding for his life, but I don't think he's going to make it as, yeah, the Sun from Amumu is going to uh, keep him locked up enough to get the kill. And yeah, a nice shutdown going over onto Amumu. Okay, so Tunnel did pick up the Tiamat right after that. He might go into the Dynam the Ravenous Hydra. Uh, he could sit on the Tiamat, or I think I personally would like the Titanic Hydra, because, you know, you already have the healing. Uh, mm. You might as well get tankier so that you can survive being blown up. Like, already there, he survived a long time um, in a 1v3. He's going in kind of a tricky spot as he tries to blast Kona away from Tark and Karthus. And Udi is coming in fast, but I think he's going to be able to get out of this as, uh, yeah, uh, Ari is yeah. going to rotate over for assistance. And we'll see if she's able to land on Charm here. No, she just gets the Foxfire out um, and does a little bit of poke damage. Tunnel gets a tower up in the top lane. It kind of equalizes the gold. Uh, so despite being um, four kills down, uh, they are like donkey even knives. in gold. <laughs> yeah, it's basically even in gold. Uh, in fact, Donkey Knives is slightly ahead. Uh, but looks like they're going to take a tower here. So they'll actually pull back, back into the lead. Okay. Um, despite being in the gold deficit. It, the kill deficit, sorry. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Udi is going to run away from Ari and Ezreal as uh, they, he's going to try to clear that, that, at that pink ward, which will go down. Um, nothing to fight for here, so I, I, we might just have a bit of a standoff. Um, yeah. And so the, the second Rift Herald is coming up soon. I would like Trundle to take that because... He can slow it down pretty easily, and yeah, he's still way ahead of this Dronectin. Um, there may be a fight for it, though. It does look like I mean, and Renekton are going to be rotating over, as well as Alistair's caught kind of in the river, but Donkey Knives is going to fall back behind their um, line with a missed charm from Ari. That means that's going to be down for a few seconds. Uh, we might have an engage here. No, it looks like they're both going to go back mid. Um, and neither team's really like willing to commit to engage. Yeah, I do want to comment on something, which is that To the Moon is actually so far ahead in CS of Super Mac. Um, he's forty about forty CS up, mm -hmm. which is you know so he's actually only let me check only about a hundred gold behind Ezreal, despite Ezreal having the two kills and two assists. And, yeah. Uh, and like, He's gone yeah, the Divine Sunderer will keep Ezreal more healthy, but it won't allow for that consistent damage as as like Jinx would. Yeah, like right. It's 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 a lower damage build. It it just kind of gives better poke mm -hmm. while lower DPS. Um, though I mean, once he completes that Miramana, he has a tier fully stacked up. He just has to clean complete that item. The Miramana procs with the Divine Sunderer is absolutely gonna sting uh, when he lands his Qs. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, it's not there, but you really can't compare with a, an excited Jinx, Lethal Tempo. Um, she's going to have a Kraken player, Slayer yeah. and a Dominic, Lord <laughs> Dominix. Um, I, I think Nerfs go through, by the way, for Lord Dominix. Uh, next patch, uh, okay. next week. I don't think they're huge patch. I think, I think it'll still be just fine as a second item um, into tankier compositions, which, I mean, you like because, like, Renekton, he's a, he's a health tank, right? He mm -hmm. builds a bunch of health items. He's probably going to build Asterics. He gets the Gore Drinker. Um, his ult just gives him more extra health. So, you know, you get lots of value from the Lord Dominic passive versus him. And then obviously a Mumu um, carving through that. So I, I like the I like the Lord Dominic second here. As also it's it's an AD item, and Jinx loves AD because her rockets scale with 110 percent um, AD. So that extra the extra AD. Helps him crit just a little bit harder. We just him going in here. No, thinking twice. Gonna be running quickly in and quickly out. As they're gonna be facing off with a dragon, Amu and Udyr are both here to contest. Although it looks like uh, Donkey Knives will get the inside track on the dragon pit and be able to set up uh, division first. But no, the dra dragon being aggroed brings Tark down to a Three quarters health. Um, meanwhile, top lane, Trundle and Renekton are back at it, doing they at it again. But Renekton is in a bit of trouble as he's Ooh. taking below half health, getting the rage proc on his Q, but um, 
is oh, <laughs> the ultimate no. from Tar uh, from Trundle is ticking down. The heal from uh, his Q will keep him healthy, but he will ultimately go down. As meanwhile, that Dragon Pit, we're gonna have a fight for this. As Red Team does pick it up, the target ult coming in clutch. As uh, the Zodias from Karthus is gonna keep him alive, but uh, uh, Moo's gonna go down, and it looks like. The rest of the uh, team, <laughs> Tactical Gaming, is on the run as the Ultimate from Carthus just takes down a bunch of people. Oh, oh man. man, but Ezreal did so much damage there. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, Strano uh -huh. going in, 2v1 is going to think better of it as Jinx had to back off. Uh, off and uh, Alistair and uh, Ezreal are looking to re-engage. Um, but no, the W from Trundle is going to keep him... Uh, <laughs> he's going to speed him up enough to get him out of danger. Yeah. So I think Donkey Nines is pretty happy with how that fight ended up going, but uh, that's that kind of showed the power of that Ezreal. He was absolutely... Um, hey, Calista, hey, can you not eat that? Thank you, puppy. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, the Ezreal, like, his, he was doing so much damage there, and, you know, the Jinx didn't get any of the kills. They kind of went on to the Udyr. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate that Renekton, well, Renekton had to cancel the back, um, but a lot of the gold for uh, Team Donkey Knives is on the Trundle, so him not being into the fight until a little bit later probably had a an, a, an effect on it. He also had to use his ults um, in the one versus one with Renekton, which is worthwhile, but you know it, it also could have made a difference shredding the Amumu a little bit faster. Uh, and Karthus did opt for the Leandris over the Night Harvester. Is that... I'm, I'm, is that what Night Harvester is... So the thing is, you, you kind of want the Mage Mythics now. They nerfed Night Harvester a lot. Um, okay. And he's going this the tier build, too. So he wants the mana from the Mage Mythics as well. As Oh, boy. Um, nope. Uh, oh, we are going to have a fight here as Amu does get the Spanish on to Udyr, but the um, Tarek Sun won't connect with anybody... He, Anybody can really yeah. reach as Dragon does teleport in, but nothing is going on. So, <laughs> bit of a not a wasted teleport, but you do wish you had that back. Yeah. So, I, I think Karthus' choices are between Ludens and Leandres right now. Oh, sorry, I thought I mean myself. Oh. My bad. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oof. My uh, my commuting is not. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Those Ezreal Qs are doing a third of Karthus' health each. Granted, he's not the tankiest champion, but if they can play around this this poke play style, um, you know, yeah. Karthus as Tarek is really good at. Um, ooh, ooh as the charm from Ari does take Udir below half oh. health. Yeah, I mean, especially with the the Alistair, like he doesn't need to go in. He can, yeah. but like he can just play yeah. disengage as well. Yeah, just headbutt the Udyr as soon as he, he goes anywhere. And the thing is, like, Tarek is really good at sustaining throughout a fight. Um, mm -hmm. You know, as long as he has somebody to whack with his... Oh, chunking really hard. Um, he, he constantly gets those heal procs. But, like, he's not the greatest at, like, keeping his team, uh, you know, topped up in a siege the way, like, a Soraka or a Nami is. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Chem tank being popped from Udyr isn't going to find anything as he's find himself kind of floundering off to the side. And it looks like they might yeah. have this tower up as they are I th I th like chunked out from the Zezreal's cues. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I think it's got to go down because they're stinging and like they don't have the greatest wave clear. Uh, mm -hmm. Ezreal so has the, the Muramana uh, built and uh, upgraded. Yeah, so he's going. Yeah, he's going for the Cyrilda's Grudge next. So he's, I, I think that's going to be the Cyrilda's Grudge instead of Lord Dominic's. So he's mm -hmm. gonna, um, he's gonna start slowing with his cues too, like the old uh, the Iceborne Gauntlets Ezreal's of old. I mean, Team I... Donkey Knives is still comfortably like a little bit less than a thousand gold ahead, but I, I feel like the momentum is just going completely in Tactical Gaming's favor right now. Yeah, and I think a lot of this is, is, is. Hmm. I think the hard thing is, is that Donkey Knives doesn't have a way to get onto them. Like, you yeah, Udyr, but like they have, they've already, who just shuts right. down any engage that they have. They, they really have to kind of play for the split push, I think. Um, 
Trundle is just dominating the side lanes. Yeah. And so forcing forcing him okay, so there's actually so gonna this be a dragon. Be a 4v5 here. here, so I don't think Donkey Nabs can fight this as Trundle is near Baron Pit and uh with Dragon spotting, I don't think they can fight this. Yeah. I'm gonna stand off so as Dragon up. hasn't been aggroed yet, but looks like Trundle's Trundle gonna be caught out here. Uh, or a flank out as a nice oh, no. going for uh, going from target is gonna result. Uh, Udir is gonna result in his death as uh, no one on tactical games can go down. Finally, Amu is going to fall, oh. and flashing away, but uh, is gonna barely stay alive. No, the Jinx is rocket oh. is gonna take him down as uh, tactical gaming uh, is re-engaging on this because oh no <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Karth is barely staying alive from the target shield is gonna make uh, tactical gaming be on the back foot as Jinx is getting fired up. And is gonna take down Alistair and leave Ezreal all alone as uh, Donkey Knives is going to be pivoting onto this dragon. Yeah, and that was a beautiful Tarek ultimate. It absorbed so much damage and uh, kept Jinx and Jinx and the whole backline alive through the Renekton flank. Um, and I, I think like that's what Team Donkey Knives needs is those yeah. those fights where they can. Um, so they can uh, actually get onto them. Yeah, <laughs> bait, uh, bait tactical gaming into running onto him for him. <laughs> I mean, like that's the problem with the the poke comp is that if they weren't poked down en enough, if somehow they do get an engage or you guys engage on them, then all of a sudden, like you you guys aren't going to win that. Yeah. the The one bright side for tactical gaming is that gold is still pretty even, and a lot of those kills went over onto. Trundle still. Um, mm -hmm. Now, granted, Trundle is becoming an absolute monster in this split push, but as the game goes on, um, he's going to be less and less va valuable, especially once the Cyrilda's Grudge gets completed, and I see uh, Executioner's calling for uh, Ezreal as well. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, that cuts through a lot of his tankiness, because when he, when he does um, suck the health from the tank that he ults, um, that does count as healing, so it does get reduced. By the grievous wounds. I would like to see a little. Okay. Um, and Mumu went for the the uh, grievous wounds next. The thorn mail it applies sixty percent grievous wounds to anyone you immobilize. So his ultimate is going to be a, a really, a really nice just <laughs> AOE. I thought the buff grievous wounds was only to those below a certain amount of health. Uh, no. So it. it it now depends. The 60% condition depends based on the item. So the Morella Namicon and the... Um, oh, we're not going, going in deep fight. as uh, he's going to go on to uh, Donkey Knives. As, uh, Amun does get the four-man ultimate onto uh, their team. Karthus does pop the Zonias, but uh, Renekton is going to fall, and so is Amumu at the, to Trundle. And Estriel is finding himself face-to-face -face with the Udyr, is going to finally go down as uh, Karthus pays for his life, but that's a a clean fight over the team donkey knives again uh it's, it's not what you want to see no no uh, and honestly another clutch Tarek ultimate that uh, again absorbs so much damage and that's going to be the baron um just no one to yeah, contest he's going to shred through that yeah. so fast and trundle's going to be mid so he's going to be able to take that tower like <laughs> yeah, so right quick away. Yeah, this trundle, this trundle pick is making me a liar. It's so, it's been so effective both in the one v one and just you know, destroying a um in the team fights. Yeah, it, it's honestly nuts. And like, uh, Alistair can only peel so much. You know, you saw Ezreal was was in the back, but you know, Udi was able to get onto him because Alistair was busy dealing with trundle. Yeah, I, and I, I really feel like tactical gaming needs to be a little bit more careful like mm -hmm. they're engaging these fights that they just do not need to um at all yeah and you know like you have didn't need to go in there they, they, no was, yeah and, it feels and like why in this gold gap yeah it's and it's getting worse i mean we talked about it earlier that you know tactical gaming was going to be stronger um f for from the point they hit level six until you know jinx had three items and here we are uh, Jinx had three items, has three items. The Trundle is overwhelming the Renekton in the split push. Uh, might be in a bit of trouble here. Is he is going to be caught deep into the enemy jungle. Um, Alistair is going to be taking below half health. though. He's going to pop the ult, try and stay alive. Oh. The uh, 
Uh, Lockett is going to keep him alive a little bit longer. And three mana Mumu ult is going to knock people up, but he's going to go down here as soon as well. And no one there is, is there to follow up on, on those engages. And uh, Udia is going to be going in deep below uh, the second tier tower. And they're going to get this second tier tower in the bot lane and probably push all the way into the inhibitor as well. Yeah, this this could actually be the game. They still have the Baron buff ticking. Um, well, Vage is probably going to go down here. Yeah, they uh, just no, go for the tower that. here. And uh, we're going to have to defend the Nexus turrets because this inhibitor is just falling so fast. Rotating over to the mid lane. Oh, they no. still have the Baron buff going, so that's going to be huge. Ezreal is caught out and is going to go down immediately. But Targ is going to try and pop the ult to save himself. But no, it's going to go down as well. But they have two inhibitors down and uh, they only got one kill out of that. So that was a one-for-one -one trade uh, and two inhibitors. Yeah, but the Infernal Soul is coming up. And I, I think... I don't think that Tactical Gaming can contest. This gold lead is now ballooned to 9,000. Um, the scaling is on the side of... All on the side of... Um, donkey, team Donkey Knives. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, this is this is getting really, really bad for Tactical Gaming. Uh, they have to be really careful about the next fight that they choose. Uh, they have to rely on having a really good engage. And the clock is ticking on him because Jinx is only going to get stronger and this Trundle is just still absolutely destroying the side lanes. He went for the yeah. Titanic Hydra. He's pivoting into tank because he knows he still has enough he has enough damage on his team that he can just, you know, be a big frontliner. He's still going to beat Renekton in the side lane. He's <laughs> two levels up on him. Um, you, you're going to need at least two people to, to take Trundle down. Yeah, honestly, three. Uh, <laughs> Or five. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, Renekton is going to be defending tower here alone, as uh, the rest of the team is going to be uh, is going to be collapsing as well. But I think they might get this turret before they're able to get there in time. It, yeah, the Jinx is just shredding through that, and they're going to fall back to the inhibitor turret. But with the bot with bot lane being collapsed in by the super minions, they're going to have to respond to that at some point. Um, yeah, Ari's coming up here to help out as well but the super minions are pushing in both mid and bot and this might be the third inhibitor going down uh in just a little bit 